Hey guys, Pastor Phil Yates from the Greater Sydney Conference. I hope you are smashing it out. Uh, got some jokes for you. Do you want to hear a joke? Uh, what do you call a mischievous egg? A practical yoker. <laughs> Did you hear about the chicken could only lay eggs in the winter? She's no spring chicken. <laughs> What the day what day do chickens hate the most? Friday <laughs> What do you get if a chicken lays an egg on top of a barn? An egg roll. <laughs> Am I the only one laughing here? What do you get when you get a chicken that crosses the road twice? A double crosser. <laughs> last one, last one, last one, last one. Why does the chicken coop have two doors? <laughs> because, <laughs> because if it had four doors, <laughs> it'd be a sedan. <laughs> That's unreal, mate. I'm loving them jokes. Hey? Come on. Today we're doing the poultry on her. <laughs> we're gonna look, we're gonna go through some chickens. We're gonna go through some goose. <laughs> we're gonna go through some geese, ducks. We're gonna talk about chickens today. Then we're gonna go to a farm and uh Pastor Darren's gonna take us through his farm. It's his backyard farm and his front yard farm. And you're going to write a bit of stuff there because you have to visit a farm, right? So we're going to do that for you. And uh, he's he's got that video. So we're going to go through this stuff pretty quick. Uh, on the worksheet, you're going to have all the stuff that you need to write. So I'm going to tell you a bit of information, but I want you to kind of expand on that information uh, as we go through. So I'll tell you a little bit about each breed and, uh, and then you'll expand on that in the worksheet. Understand? Cool. We're doing the poultry on a... <laughs> This is, I'm still cracking up about that sedan joke. You can use that. Hey, feel free. Isa Brown. Isa Brown's an Australian uh, chicken, and it's a great all-round chicken, a great chicken that lays lots of brown eggs. If you've, if you've got an egg, they're probably from an Isa Brown. They are originally a French chook, mostly found in Australia. Um. I know that doesn't make sense, but they're a French chook. Yeah, as I said, they lay about 300 to 350 eggs a year. They're, and they lay them because they've got early uh, maturation. So um, they mature quickly and they, they begin the beginning lay, they're beginning to lay eggs. Oh, mate, they begin to lay eggs at about 16 weeks, 16 to 22 weeks. Australops. Australops. Australops are, are known as an Australian Orpington. Uh, they, are, they are renowned for their being calm and friendly and they're good layers. The feathers of the Australian Orpington are very soft and contain hints of purple and green uh, when in the sunlight. They originate in Australia, but they're from a mix of, of, about, of a few different English breeds. Their purpose is eggs and meat, and uh, the variations, they can be black, white, and blue. The common ones are black. Uh, the wine, the wine dot. The wine dot is a medium sized uh, chicken. With a rose comb and clean cleaner, you know the rose comb up top. <laughs> the chicken feathers are broad and close fitting. Uh, the wine dot uh, breeds suit both free range and confinement, or, or confinement in a run. The hens lay around two hundred eggs a year, and an exceptional one will lay up to two hundred and forty. The Rhode Island Red. 
Rhode Island Reds are tough breeds and they're, they're resilient to illness, good for foraging uh, and free range. Typically docile, quiet and friendly. The males are considerably aggressive though. The Rhode Island Reds are excellent egg layers, producing about 250 to 300 large eggs per year. The Leghorn. The Leghorn is a crossbreed, or no, the Leghorn and its crossbreeds are the most popular commercial breed of chicken worldwide. While the majority are white, a number of coloured breeds also exist. The Leghorn are excellent layers of eggs, around 300 a year, but they can be noisy, flighty, and easily excited and aggressive. Because of their aggression, not recommended for backyard operations. Identify, the next one, identify the description of the Pekin duck. Now, it's not Pekin duck, like what you eat in the Chinese restaurant, if you eat that. Uh, it's the Pekin, P-E-K-I-N duck. The Pekin duck is a breed of domesticated duck used primarily for egg and meat production. They're bred in uh, Mallard in China. Nine ducks were imported to the US in 1873, and most of the popular commercial duck breeds in the United States are the Pekin duck. The eggs are slightly larger and, uh, and have a more durable and stronger um, shell and membrane, which makes them hard to crack open, uh, not like a chicken egg, right? The ducks have more protein. Duck eggs have more protein, calcium, and many vitamins, as well as fat and cholesterol, per gram than a chicken egg, so more. Uh, duck eggs have a very similar flavour and texture to a chicken egg. Identify by description and pictures three breeds of large domestic fowl, such as the following turkeys. The mammoth bronze. The mammoth bronze is similar to the wild turkey, but it's a bit larger. The feathers are iridescent black and hints of green. The feathers of the rump have bronze colouring, thus the name, while other, fe other feathers have hints of red and green. It is a cal it's calmer than most uh, other breeds, which makes it quite easy to handle. As I say, find out some more about that and write them in the worksheet. The White Holland Turkey. Uh, the White Holland Turkey is the ancestor to a broad-breasted white, uh, the most common produced breed in uh, of domestic turkey. True white Hollands are extremely rare in these days uh, and are the primary, primary breed for enthusiasts because of that rareness. The Bourbon Red Turkey. The Bourbon Red uh, is a handsome breed of turkey with white feathers and its uh, wingtips and tail are brownish burgundy feathers covering most of the rest of its body. It has a bluish wattle, a black beard, and uh, pink shanks and toes. The, burb the red bourbon is, namely, is named after, its, after the bourbon country in Kentucky, where it was developed. Yeah. Identify by description and from pictures two breeds of domestic geese. The Toulouse uh, goose is a gray, has grayish brown feathers on top and white feathers underneath. Uh, the most distinguishing characteristics is its pronounced dewlap, uh, which is the flap of loose skin beneath its chin. They lay about 100 eggs per year and the geese are not great wanderers. They prefer to stay in uh, close to home, which makes it ideal for a large garden or orchard where these birds thrive. The Cape Barren Goose is a large res resident of South Australia or Southern Australia. Uh, these bulky geese, geese <laughs> um, and their almost uniformly grey plumage uh, beer rounded black spots is unique. The tail and flight feathers are blackish, the legs are pink, and the, black, the feet are black. The goose 
uh, is around 75 or 75 to 100 centimeters long and it's got about a wingspan of 150 to 190 centimeters the male on average weighs around 5.29 kilograms and the female 3.77 kilograms okay that's all you need to kind of listen to as i say write some extra facts about the things that we covered then but also these are the things you things you need to do state orally or write a short paragraph regarding the egg laying or meat producing qualities of each breed i've mentioned some there but um yeah and pick pick the, the couple of breeds that we've talked about Visit a poultry farm or agricultural fair and write a brief report on the various types of poultry observed. So we're going now to Pastor Darren's farm and uh, we're going to listen to him and he's going to take us around there. Enjoy, guys. Good morning and welcome to Pastor Darren's poultry farm. I'm going to show you some of my poultry today. See how many different types you can see. I'm going to start over here. Uh, my eyes are browns. Eyes are browns are the most common chook you'll see. They lay a good brown big egg. Most of the eggs you eat come from these guys. They're the ones you find in poultry farms. Eyes are browns a brand name. They're actually a crossbred between a New Hampshire and a Rhode Island. But they're your average everyday layer. You don't show them, um, but they're a good um, layer to have eggs in your yard. Come over here. You'll see, oh, there's a houdan, Madison. So you get the houdan in. There's a few houdans. They're Pastor Rick's houdans I've got at the moment. They're funny chooks. They're a good show chook. Big poms on their head. And they're a layer, lovely. Um, lay a few eggs, not a good egg layer, but they're good for your backyard. And then in the cage over here, you can have a look. We have some ducklings. They're two weeks old. They are Ancona ducklings. They, they, um, they're black and white like a Frisian cow. All different spots all over them. They're a great breed to have in your backyard. A good forager and also a good layer. They lay over 260 eggs a year. So they're, they're my little ducklings there. I've just hatched out. Um, two weeks old. Let's see what's in the backyard. Follow me. Look down there, you can see my geese, Ryan and Mary. They are pilgrim geese, and they have the run of my yard there, the two bosses. And then behind them, you can see my runners, Indian runners. They're funny because they stand up like soldiers, and they're a herding animal, and they love foraging. They're a great layer. Indian runners are great duck to have and a Rhode Island red rooster just there as well he's an old grandpa he's four or five years old um, he's a battler if I throw a bit of food out it might encourage the runners to come out you watch them come out and they'll eat this food I might show you the why nots first and the runners will come out hopefully to find this food over here These are my daughter Madison's chooks. In here are a pair of gold laced wine dots. They're bantam. They're not large, they're only small. Um, they're bantam gold laced wine dots. Lovely gold colour in that rooster, isn't there? And then next door is silver laced wine dots. If I open it. So there's a rooster there and three pullets. Again, a bantam, but silver laced wine. It's one of the most prettiest chooks that you'll get, uh, these wine dots. And then, just over here, one of my favourites. Had these in my family for um, 35, 40 years. Look in there, you'll see Japanese bantams. I'll open the cage so we can get the camera in and show you them. There's a, quite a few in there, roosters and hens. They're really small. 
really short legs and they lay a really really small egg almost big as a pigeon but they're a fun breed to have and down the back to my other oh, pleasure runners coming out get the medicine look like soldiers they're a good layer they um they're a fun breed to have they're a herding animal so they actually train um sheep dogs on runners because they um yeah they, they herd together and run in a pack so there's quite a few runners there and of course the geese run with them as well and then finally i'll show you some of my favorite breeds in here are my bantam rhode island reds only a small bird they lay a nice brown egg but yeah, right on red bantams and right down the back. Are my large Rhode Island reds. A lot bigger. Look at that big rooster at the back. Can you see him? Very big bird. If you Google the Sydney Royal Show schedule from last year, 2019, the rooster on the cover of the Sydney Royal schedule is one of Pastor Darren, so I'm quite proud of that. So yeah, Rhode Island Red. This is um a leghorn pullet. Leghorn with additional good old layers. Um, this is a show bird. Um, lay a big white egg and they're a nice big white laying bird. Probably one of my favourites are a Mediterranean breed, but they um always go up when they perch at night but they're a really, really good layer. I love leghorns. Well, thank you for joining me to look at some of my poultry. Hope you enjoyed the quick tour and it helps you with the poultry award that you're doing. Bye. Eventually. Oh, how good was that? Thank you, Pastor Darren, for your help showing us around your farm. Look, guys, get the worksheet, get the certificate and get the honour. Until next time, bless you.